forms. So now this our this lecture, especially the third lecture three, is that obtaining the parameters of 345 kV or any any extra high voltage transmission line and modeling it in PSCAD. So I have shown you in the previous lecture that there are multiple ways to basically model transmission line in network. So one way is that you can direct model a pi network, and another way is that you can model through R, L, X, R, X, and B, like re resistance, inductance, and susceptance. But make sure that the value available, the data of all these components are available with you. And next important, the most important, sometime uh, at a planning stage, if some if new plant is interconnected in the system, then we need to measure the parameters of the new line in, in the systems. And then we, for that purpose, we have information of tower and conductor information. Just so for that, with the information of conductor, radius, conductor, ground to all add data that is required in the modeling. Based on that data, we can uh, calculate the R, X and B. That is called most of the time line constants. So by making use of these line constant, we can get those values R, X and B. And then we can put those values in pi model and then we can perform the analysis like load flows analysis. So this now in this case, like we have a three case file like line parameters and line parameters bundled and then simple transmission line and then how to add those lines simply. So we will see, I mean, I, I will add this uh, case study with you in, in the drive folder. So uh, directly we should start with the PSCAD modeling here from the scratch. Already there are as a built-in line available in the master library. If we go to see there, I mean in the transmission lines box, Yes, here it is a transmission line. Here, if we cl click on this, so mean th there are different. Also, there is a pi section is also available. If we see, so mean there is a pi section that is available in R, X, and X, C. Most of the time, we use this model, pi model, that is equivalent pi model. So, this this is a coupled section, and this is already built in model. So, but in 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 the under the transmission line master library, if we see in the main here in the T line, yes. So, I mean the based on the conductor information and the and the transmission like different model that like frequency dependent or other other, and also based on the tower data that what type of tower and what is the clearance between them. So most of the time, so I mean we can get, make use of these modeling and we get parameters from these in these components. But most importantly, if we are performing any load flow analysis or we are modeling a uh, and next important, we are modeling a line with for a load flow steady state problem, then it's OK. Just in, you make use of pi section here, like click on this the master library and then go to make use of this pi section. So otherwise, other than this, if you are doing a transposition of line, if you are doing a energization of line, and if you are doing a insulation coordination, then for that purpose, we need to build our line correctly as per the parameters, as per the tower's structure available. So for that purpose, what we do mean we, we get information regarding the tower structures and conductor information, and then we uh, choose the appropriate model and we get the, those constants and by making the conversion of those constant, then we use those constant in the transmission line model, like in the pi section. So that is actual uh, parameters. Uh, I mean, so for that purpose, uh, if I am in the projects, okay. So go to open new and then here is a TL. So there is a TL main here. So this empty diagram so far to get the uh, to create a line here or any component. So because whenever you are doing a user defined modeling, so for that purpose, just right click on this on that on the single empty diagram. So here, here there is a create a RTL line. OK, 
you need to change your name or anything otherwise this just click on finish and it will be there and similarly we will see how to measure the components sorry how to make a user defined components here in this case we will define a component then we will given the different ports or if we can add ports I mean we can use it making you uh, use of this model we can create our own component but information must be clear so in this way so there is a I mean t line is available so and uh, after this just right click and then edit parameters so for that purpose you can select that six frequency and the segment length so for that purpose you can change your length i'm just sh showing the i uh, mean the just you can say generic modeling let's see how this concluded then number of connectors are three and the termination style of direct connection otherwise remote end so it will give you a single double line so after that I mean if there is a mutual entry of zero sequence manual sorry manual entry so we can add but the this depends upon the this internal use as time step okay so after that if at a definition so if otherwise clicking on that right click and edit definition otherwise go to main and double click on this so it will give you this model so the same information that is available in the canvas like canvas then 60 hertz 100 kilometers then other so all these information are available here so mean we can click on this we can change to other elements but we are not performing any frequency dependent model just double click so a single click and delete it so right click and then select transmission model go to master library and bergen model and then so here is the so mean just you need to travel time in uh, interpolation that is used for the uh, mean the uh, most of the time emt study when we are performing any switching study the uh, reflection coefficients and other but otherwise this okay okay next under this using damping approximation no travel time yes that is one one unit time step Want to be reflection line, reflection less line? No. Then okay. And then uh, right click anywhere in the click, right click, and then select add tower cross section. Then go to mod, master library, select three line constant three because we are interested in RXP and connector flat test, flat tower. So here, so most of the time at this voltage level means 60 100 kilometers. So yes, here. So you will get mean the information like the tower structure that is from tower to the ground and then the between two connectors the distance and then if if we need to add the parallel connector is choker most of the time at extra high voltage this type of connector is used if we double click on this so these are the information that is required for from a client or from any utility I mean the construction company that are modeling uh, constructing the tower so first one is that the mean relative exposition of tower center height of all conductors horizontal spacing between the conductors if you see that is 10 here and next height of ground wires over the lowest conductor mean over the lowest up to the lowest and spacing between the ground wires so that is given in g1 g2 so these are the just generic and other than this then then this is a configuration data so make sure that you need to send this a, a screenshot with M uh, to the client that please fill this information so that we can get the correct information and then conductor data. So in the conductor data you can give to through the conductor library. Otherwise you can give to the like from library files. There is a conductor library path is given, but most of the time there is if issue in the loading. There is no conductor. Like, make sure that check this direct. Okay, when this direct, then we need to provide this information like choco radius is this. What is the DC resistance of this? Okay, the inner outer radius will be calculated by the PSK. And then what is the sag of all conductors relative permeability and the total bundle subconductors? No bundling, I mean just one. We can add up to bundling. If we are doing a bundling, so we will make sure that we will add here. We, based on this there will be a, a difference in the parameters next ground wire data so in this case again direct I mean we can add data entry method through connector library otherwise direct 
So in direct, we need this information: outer radius, DC resistance, relative permeability, and SAG, and all other parameters remain as it. Mean the the those parameters which are gray in PS CAD don't need to add these parameters, and you cannot add it, edit them. You, only the black one are you can add. So based on this, and after that asymmetrical bundling position. So this is based on the uh, transposition, but we are not adding. So connector one, connector two. These are three phase connectors. So they are only sometimes ground wire that is called shield wire is used. So that's okay. Okay, mean this is uh, information is available now. How to get the R X B? Otherwise, mean just right click and you can go to the solve constants. Okay, or you can ju just press press on the run, run button. So now based on the information. Like the base initial information was the regarding this line, like clicking in the main and double sorry not clicking on the main and right click on edit definition sorry main edit parameters. So we can change length and frequency and number of connectors and segment and direct connection is here simple in the connect in this. So after this we can double click and we can make use of these after the parameters we can add. A tower structure, and we can add the information. So, if you have information of uh, these configuration, conductor data, and then ground wire data, and then asymmetrical data, you can get the transmission line parameters. Okay, just click on this. Uh, stay within this. Otherwise, you if you go to the main, like uh, sorry, here in the. Yes, TL main. If you are here, so there are two ways to see the output. One way is to that solve this one constant. Proceed with the simulation, yes, and then right click and edit definition, and then you will see at the output. So there are all these parameters: impedance matrix, shunt impedance matrix, long line impedance matrix, and then why the eigenvalues modal transformation, like most of the time. Okay. Then the sequence component data, positive sequence, the all matrix is available. And again, the per unit line, long line corrected, the positive sequence in per unit Excel and shunt is also available. The resistance is available. So all information is also available here. So one way is to to get the information here, but other way is that go to this at Siki matrix and just click and solve constant. If you will see. The output will be here. And next important thing is that where I can get the output. Just go to the uh, case directory like here is a lecture three. The transmission three. Yeah. No, I have not added this TL. Uh, make sure that where is this TL is added. Okay, save project as desktop. If I say okay. Then now I add my solve my constant. So you will see this folder available. So where you can get the log out log mean the line constant ending. It's work perfectly fine. The TL out is here. So all output information is available here. You don't need to copy those and the the transmission line. Parameters data that is basic input data as a reference just mean your output is calculated against these data. Okay, and next T line based on this. This is the basically any mean the run run time file. There is after running the file, so you get these information again for each connector. There is a value of resistance, reactance, and then susceptance. So time 